<sighs> hey, guess what? I have five things in this bag, plus a little extra of my favorite saddle hunting, mobile hunting accessories. And I wanna go through them with you. So let's check it out. Oh, did I mention? Maybe I didn't. They're all under $30. Two things. Number one, you don't need all the stuff that I'm gonna be listing off right now. So don't get your panties in a knot thinking that I'm gonna be like, This is a must have. Without it, you'll never shoot a big buck. No. Number two, pay attention now. This is really important. I'm gonna have everything linked below. So you can comment and ask me what you want to ask, but I've already given you the answer of where to find these products. So let's get started. All right, so we're gonna make this really quick, or at least as fast as we can. Five things that I love for saddle hunting slash mobile hunting. First things first, this is actually, I believe, the most expensive one, and that is a bow rope to lift up your bow. And this specifically are the pocket pull-up ropes from the Amsteel guy. And this is the one right here that I used primarily all last year. It has a smaller diameter Amsteel on it. He could have different variations of it now. Like this one here is also from him. This is a thicker diameter Amsteel. Um, I've used this to pull limbs, break limbs. It's with Amsteel being as strong and as tough of it is, as it is, it's very handy for trying to do any type of limb trimming that you're trying to do or tie down a limb out of your way on public land. And the convenience of just having it super small and fitting into your pocket while you're walking in is stellar. This is gonna, these are gonna run you about 2850. And that might be for the 25 foot length or the 30 foot length. There are smaller versions of this. I think he sells on his website. And uh, this is my preferred method for pulling up a bow. Item number two. These are technically called tether assist hooks. And it's more for one sticking people, but I have converted these to basically be my everything use type hanging system. So these go on your tether typically. And I usually will run one on my tether. What's really handy is having one on my tether as soon as I get up and my platform set up and I'm standing there and I've got this on my tether, I pull up my bow and I'll quick hang my bow onto this. The other one either will be in my pocket for other use, or I can put it on my tether, or I can put it on whatever hanging system I want to. And the convenient behind these is like, I don't need to have an extra um, like his system where I have extra, a whole bunch of extra 3D printed stuff laying around. This is all going to be on my tether. It's a, it's a minimalistic way to be hanging your items in the tree without having more straps to put up into the tree or take down at the end of the night. So. These are technically called tethered assist hooks. These are from Genesis 3D Printing. I'm sure there are some other companies out there that have something similar. These are just the ones that I have used and the ones that they have on their website. Number three, again, this is gonna be um, another 3D printed object. And you guys are, there's, this is, I've seen controversy. This is the hip bow hanger. This goes through any piece of molly. As you can see, there's two different lengths. It's just a, a, a variation for however you see that you may want to use it and where you want to put it. Some people can run it on their hip straps for their backpacks, and I personally will run it on my saddle, and that's primarily where my bow hangs. 99% of the time while I'm hunting, my bow is hanging off of my hip on this. I will add to, this is kind of like an afterthought that I have seen people say, oh, I think that this could add fraying to the string. You don't want to hold your bow by the string. Listen, you've got say 50 to 70 pounds of tension on that string. That ain't gonna do nothing, letting it hang there. We're not out here shooting million dollar competitions. We are just out here hunting. I've used them for years. That does not put wear on your string. It does not add string twist. It may knock an arrow off if you're not careful and not knowing what you're doing, but Quit complaining about something or having doubts about something if you haven't tried it. It's so annoying. And the, my, the main reason why I love this is self-filming. So if you're a self-filmer, this is something you want to probably be checking out because I don't want my bow hanging in a tree while I'm trying to self-film and then I've got to reach up for my bow and then bring it back into position and maybe I've got to use my left hand to focus my, my camera. This is allowing my bow to be right there at my hip 
where when my arm is relaxed along my side, my handle for my bow is right where it needs to be. And it's, a, it's almost a go and shoot position where you're at your bow, you can have your release on there. If you got a thumb button release and you just, you're picking up your bow with your release in your left hand and you're drawing like such. So it is super convenient for me. This is my favorite way to hang a bow while saddle hunting, uh, at least in the hunting position. Um, I primarily use the long one and uh, the shorter one um, I just have as a backup. I've used it as well. I just, uh, this is the longer version is the one I've used the most. I've had it for probably four years or so. So these are, these, all these items I'm listing right here are things I've used for more than one season, actually quite a while. So again, these are the hip bow hanger from Genesis 3D printing. Okay, number four, we're going back in the Amsteel direction again. I love pretty much all things Amsteel. Um, I've been using this product since almost day one of mobile hunting with my sticks. And that is a daisy chain. Now, yes, we can use them for sticks, using them for climbing methods, but primarily I pack one of these daisy chains to hold my backpack in the stand. So I'm, I'm using this as just a makeshift version of a hiss strap. Um, I noose itself through around the tree and then the carabiner will clip onto the handle of my backpack and it works really conveniently. It weighs just an ounce or two, nothing special at all. And then I've also used this to drag deer, noose it around the neck of the deer put a stick through there so you got a handle and I'm pulling it along on the ground. So it's very convenient and it's a multi-use product. And the multi-use is really important to me. So multi-use for my bow, hoist rope. Um, we got multi-use for our, our tethered hooks that, that hang from our tether where we can use it in other places. We can put one of them onto this daisy chain. And then really the only one that's strictly one use so far is the bow hanger. Yep, so that's a multi-use daisy chain. Use it for your sticks, use it for dragging deer, use it for hanging a backpack, whatever you wanna do. That's number four, and that's going right here. Our fifth and final top five accessory item, uh, maybe isn't necessarily an accessory, but we're gonna call it one. That is hockey tape. And there's a couple reasons why I like hockey tape, primarily, uh, uh, there's a couple reasons why I enjoy hockey tape more than say stealth strips. One, you get a lot more of it. Maybe it's not as sound dampening as what stealth strips actually are, but the convenience behind it and really the multi-use in my opinion is what makes it for me. Obviously we can use it on our sticks, help silence a little bit of things and maybe help repair any patches for tape itself. But another re place that I like to use this hockey tape is on my tether and you're saying well what on my tether what do you mean what do you mean on my tether i put it on the eye if you can see that from here or not i put it right around the main portion of the eye where it comes into contact from the tag end of the rope and the reason why i do that is twofold i originally did that because this style rope here actually can mushroom out the main core that's inside of it so i wanted to contain that in there so i i wasn't damaging because before i was double wrapping my rope through the eye which was then opening up this this weave pattern so it was a protection piece the other reason the main reason why i do enjoy it now and i wrap all of my eyes with it is because hockey tape has an adhesive that kind of like permeates through it and it adds a little extra stickiness on all sides of the tape therefore when you put your tag into the rope through the eye and you have that permeated wow. adhesive, it holds your rope in place when they're slack. It helps it so that it doesn't fall down the tree and you don't have to use um, any 3D printed objects. You don't have to double wrap through causing possibly some mushrooming or some forced um, exposure of the core. Uh, it's, it's very convenient. And you're only looking at 10 bucks for one roll of these. And it's super awesome that way. And it's tape. Like you're gonna use this in multi other places, many other places, wherever you'd need tape, you have hockey tape. So you're gonna double it up for the usage on your ropes, if you wanna put it on your ropes, on your sticks for silencing, or your sticks to make them blend in more with the tree. Obviously this is camouflage, you can get it in different other patterns. This is the Howie's brand coming in at $10. And that is our fifth accessory item that I really love for saddle hunting and mobile hunting. With that said, since this is our last one, I do have some honorable mentions. The first honorable mention that I have is a little pocket saw. This is an edge pocket saw, outdoor edge pocket saw. This thing 
it is so convenient to have in my pocket or bag. Actually, I keep it in my bino harness right against my chest, so it's always there. Cutting limbs out of the way where it's legal to cut limbs. I'll cut any limbs out of the way while I'm up in the tree. I've used it to, sp to split the uh, pelvis of deer. And it's just a really handy, very small, very lightweight saw. Honorable mention number two, it's a headlight. It's just a specific headlight. It is the, I don't know, actually the name of it, the Phoenix HM50R. And this is a rechargeable headlight. It's really small. It's super bright when it's on its highest setting. It can get really dim on its lowest setting, so it's great for sneaking into the woods. I am not a believer in the red light, green light, white light deal where deer are gonna run off if they see the light. Uh, if that were true, nobody would ever hit a deer at night because the white headlights would keep them scared off the road. But a nice rechargeable headlamp is really a must in any hunting situation. So that's why it's kind of a honorable mention because it's just one of those things that you're gonna have with you or you should have with you anytime you go. The last honorable mention, number three, hold on. <clears throat> it is this, it's a spool. Not a spool just of anything. <laughs> this is all paracord. And I, I may love Amsteel. I love Amsteel, okay? But I use paracord all the time for everything else. And the convenient thing about paracord is, is it's still really strong, really tough, but it's easier for somebody like any Joe Blow to work with, whereas Amsteel is a very cut resistant type of material. It's hard to just make any adjustments quick but we're gonna be using this and we have used this for running paracord around the edges of your platforms if you wanted to. I've used, I use this mainly for continuous loops and stuff like that to have on my waist when I'm climbing. I just hang my sticks off of a chunk of paracord while climbing. I've used it for making mock scrapes and stuff like that as well, tying up grapevines, tying branches to the side that I can't cut because it's on public land. It's nice to have, not a whole spool, but it's nice to have a, I don't know, say 10 foot, 20 foot chunk in your bag when you go into the woods. So that's my three honorable mentions for things that are really nice for saddle hunting and mobile hunting. Um, yeah, and that's my top five. I, I know that there are others that are gonna say, well, that's <laughs> And there are others that are gonna say, you don't need that. I use this, or I don't use that. I just climb with my bow on my back, or I don't need to silence my sticks. That's fine. I'm just telling you my top five, okay? Take it with a grain of salt, and that's it. We're, we're done. As I mentioned earlier, everything is linked below that I have here. Even this stuff's linked below. Um, go ahead and check it out, buy it, whatever. I don't care, enjoy it, have fun. These are not items you must get or need. They are items that make my life a little bit easier when it comes to mobile hunting and sometimes in everyday use with headlamps and tape and paracord. I use that a lot in gardening even. So anyways, I appreciate you all watching. I hope this was a little insightful for you and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks again. I'm gonna go back to playing the piano and just being all sad. Just.